California voters will be asked to support a major tax hike on big business this November. If passed, Proposition 15 would raise billions of dollars for schools and local governments, but could small businesses and eventually consumers foot the bill? News Lee's Lamore Abrams takes a look at the possible unintended consequences. Prop 15 promises to help fund California schools at a time when they need it most. But small business owners are convinced that if this proposition passes in November, landlords will simply pass on those higher costs and we'll see a lot more of these stores going dark. It's the largest property tax in California history. Craig Benedetto says if taxes on commercial and industrial properties go up under Proposition 15, it won't be Wall Street corporations paying for it, but the neighborhood pizza shop or hair salon already in financial trouble amid the pandemic. We've looked at some small restaurants in places like this where the annual increase in taxes to them could be forty to fifty thousand dollars a year. Benedetta lobbies for the local commercial real estate community, building owners and developers who are some of the strongest opponents of Prop 15. Under the measure, only property owners with more than three million dollars worth of real estate would be taxed based on current market value rather than the original purchase price, as is now the rule under Prop 13, passed back in 1978. They've been looking for an opportunity to do it, now they're taking advantage. But supporters say by ending those tax protections for commercial properties, voters would be raising an estimated $6 billion for public schools, K through community college, not to mention billions more for local governments. Collectively, it's a large amount for what we get to fund our public education but individually for a corporation, this is not much. That's Jeff Freitas, president of the California Federation of Teachers. He says 90% of the revenue will come from only 10% of California's businesses. Yet the money will help fix major inequities in California's classrooms that have only worsened in the pandemic. We're the fifth largest economy in the world, yet we're the bottom of the five, you know, five or ten in states in terms of funding our schools. Whether you vote yes on Prop 15 and agree to raise taxes on large corporations or no and keep things the same, both sides promise this is one fight. And what we're talking about is corporations paying their fair share. Not going away. We don't have a revenue problem in the state of California. We have a spending problem. 